hello besties you're welcome back to my channel i'm so happy to be on your beautiful faces again today my name is Oge Chimadukoma and today we'll be looking at how to produce this beautiful soap using only palm oil yes you heard me right i produce this beautiful soap with only palm oil i didn't add a drop of palm cane oil and i'll be taking you through that process so just stay back, relax, and see me produce this beautiful, silky soap. Let's go in. Okay, so here we are. Let me run you through the list of chemicals that I use. So I use bleached palm oil. If you don't know how to bleach palm oil, there's a video on my channel. So just go, I used one liter of bleached palm oil, 850 ml of water. I used 170 grams of caustic soda. Then you can add your fragrance to taste. I used just 50 ml of my foam booster and I added 100 ml of silicate and then color. I will be putting down all these things in the description. So just click the description. You will see the full recipe there when you're done. So just don't worry. The full recipe will be in the description box so just watch out for it there so the first thing i did was to pour in my caustic soda into my water we are producing this soap using the semi hot method because we are not keeping the caustic soda to be cold we are using it hot 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 sharp sharp so i beg you use your gloves no copy me at all don't just copy me use your glove don't mind me don't mind me i'm doing superwoman but don't copy me please just use your gloves to protect yourself we are working with chemicals and we should protect ourselves. Use your gloves, use your nose mask, just be safe. Okay, so I stirred my lye solution very, very well. I stirred it to be well dissolved and then I poured in my bleached palm oil. B-P-O means bleached palm oil. So I poured in my one liter bleach palm oil and I stirred also, I stirred it for a while. I had to change my wrist because I need to give it a very good stir. So I stirred very, very well. Just follow me, just watch what I do. If you're not following me on Instagram, please follow us on Instagram. We're on IG at Skills. Then I covered my soap for about three minutes. I just want it to cook. I covered it for just about three minutes and I opened it. You can see it is looking like cooked pap. Yes, and I stirred again. I gave it a very good stir. And here comes my silicate. I added a hundred ml of silicate. All these are optional though, but it will also help. But if you want to do without them, you can also do without them. You can do without your silicate and even your foam booster. But because we're using palm oil and mostly palm oil doesn't lather that much, we need to add foam booster. So I'll be adding just 15 ml of my foam booster. You can use any foam booster of your choice. You can even use sulfonic acid. You can use tezapon. You can use any one. But I use the foam booster I bought from the market here. So I added my foam booster. You can see what it's doing to my soap but don't worry the soap will turn out fine you see how beautiful how you've seen how beautiful the soap turned out so the next i'll be adding just watch what will be the next yes my fragrance then i added my fragrance i used h and r here you can decide to use whatever fragrance of your choice but this one smells so nice i added just not even up to two cup and my soap is smelling mm, very very good and I gave it a final last stir and I added a little bit of color, just small. You know, we already use palm oil, using palm oil. So I just added a little bit of oil of my color, a little bit of my orange color coupled with my palm oil. It gave me that cream color, just a little bit of color I added. And then our soap is ready to go into the mold. <laughs> Don't mind how watery the soap is looking. It is because I try to add much more water than I am supposed to, but don't worry. You see that it turned out fine, to turn out fine. Just don't worry, it will turn out fine. 
One thing one of my students normally do at this stage is, at this stage, she will now pour it into a pot and just cook it for just a little minute, just to make it gel a little bit more. She says it makes the soap shine and truly, if you see her soap, her soap sparks. So you can also try that out. So I left it till the next morning and here we are. This is me the next morning. I want you to see my beautiful face. Yeah. We are mold our soap. See beautiful. Wow. See how beautiful our soap is looking. Do you see how beautiful that soap turned out? Yes. This is it. Beautiful. Beautiful. So you can see. So you can just go ahead and try it at home. It is very simple. It is easy to make. And if per adventure anything goes wrong, please pour it into the pot and cool. Because I know that palm oil soap, I'm just trying to... To, to, to get use of making soap with palm oil because I've always made soap with pique all for a long, long time, but I'm, I'm, I'm getting it. And we also have this type of silicone mold and also the cutter I use there, different types of silicone molds. You can click the description box to check our catalog and order for me, or also send me a WhatsApp message and I will show you the different types of silicone mold and cutter and other tools that we have and you can order yours. So you can see our soap is forming well. Don't mind me, just wait a little bit. You see that this soap ladders very, very well. So like I said, you can click the link in the description to see the different types of silicone mold that we have, and also other tools like your scale, like your measuring cup, like your hydrometer and the rest of them. So thank you so much for watching. Hope you subscribe to my 